hi everybody welcome back so today we are going to talk about this board game uh doom it's not even a new board game actually obviously this game has been like uh aged for a while as you can see this is not even a like a new box um so a little bit uh, about this game is actually it's uh, from fantasy flight games as you can see the logo yep um it has been quite aged uh i think this game was published in uh, 2016 as you can see and uh there's something very wrong with this box uh, a hint, as you got nothing to do with the, with the graphics. The graphics is fantastic. This looks like, you know, exactly like the bad guy, uh, the, what, Cyber Demon in Doom. Uh, and the Doom logo looks exactly, you know, uh, you know, like it is supposed to look. So there's nothing wrong with it. But physically, there's something very wrong when you touch this box. I mean, you can't touch it, so you have to take my word for it. But um, let's, let's take a look what exactly is wrong with it. Can you see what's wrong with this? So there's like, uh, you know this all these white spots here? This white cloudy thing. Uh, it's not part of the design actually. Although I mean it looks like it's part of the design. Um, there's, there's patches all over the boxes as you can see. Or even up to these places. Okay, so without further ado, let's, uh, let's do the unboxing of this game. And uh, you know, I'll talk a little bit about uh, what's inside. Uh, hell no, not going to do the unboxing for Doom. Um, if I'm going to unbox this, I'm kind of like five years too late. What I'm going to talk to you about is um, actually about this big problem we have in our humid countries like you know Singapore where I'm at now. Um, and actually, it's it's a humongous problem. I don't know how if uh if it, if this is actually even a problem in uh you know dry climates uh, such as in Europe or in the you know, United States, but um this is a major problem with for us and um. I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, what exactly am I going to do about it. So, without further ado, uh, let's open the box. But I'm not going to talk to you about the uh, internal of the... Of the uh, well, you will see the internal. So, the, as you can see, um, this this white moldy stuff actually even reached to the side. Okay, so, it probably hasn't penetrated the, uh, the bottom box yet. Because these boxes usually are quite resistant to uh, the mold itself. By the time you get uh, you know, more on this, it's pretty bad. So it hasn't reached that state yet. Um, this is the other type of thing that um, if you're familiar with, you are from you got the mention of manners. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. So uh, you have all these uh, map bots. They are pretty prone to the mold as well. Um, it seems like the paper that uh, Fantasy Flights decided to use uh, is quite prone to this problem. As you can see, this you can see is uh, pretty obvious here, right? The cardboards are pretty, you know, uh, mold up. And if you don't do anything about it, it's going to get a lot worse. Trust me, a lot, a lot worse than this. So, um, so number one, let me let me just get this straight first. Uh, I got this at a bargain. Okay, uh, this is about thirty United States dollars, maybe thirty five, something around there. Um, and I'm pretty grateful that I did because um. You know this game is firstly out print. Secondly, is uh it contains. Uh, I don't think I can skip this without you know showing you the stuff. I have to show it to you so that you know so that you appreciate uh, why I say it's a good deal. Look at this. Look at this. I look at this size compared to my hand. Uh, to give you some perspective of how big this is, can I like you know bring you another small miniatures where you know how does a normal miniatures look like? So this is the normal size miniatures that's like the 32 mm, and uh, let me just put it beside the cyber demon. This is, this is the this is what I'm talking about. This humongous size, uh, miniatures. I don't know if you call you can call it miniatures. Look at the details. So for about 30, 35 United States dollars, uh, this is really well worth whatever you paid for. There are, there are gaps, but. You know this gap doesn't look bad at all because you know why? Because this is uh, this model has been assembled together. Um, it's been clipped on, so there's there's some part of it that's been clipped on. The hands is clipped on, so that you know I think they so that it doesn't break during transit. Uh, and so is the head is clipped on as well. So there are some gaps, but guess what? The gap looks pretty natural for the cyber demon. I don't know why because uh, you know there's supposed to be some gap between the armor and the flesh, I guess. So. If I didn't tell you there was a gap, I guess you didn't know, but you can obviously see from here, there's gaps, right? So, uh, we can put some pudding in and, uh, you know, it's like, just patch it together if you so wish to, or just leave it as it is. Um, 
it looks like part of it and because there's the legs looks like there's a gap as well but you know trust me the legs doesn't come off this is like one piece okay so fantastic mini chores uh and there's not just one of them whoops uh there are some others one you know like this fatty gun gunner you know with uh you know some of the plasma rifle and something like that he looks totally awesome man you don't just get one of these i think there's two of this and something like that so miniature wise you know is totally what uh what is worth it for uh for just you know about 30 let's let's say it's 40 united states dollars okay that's what you're paid for and uh it comes with a whole bag of it like it's, i think it's like what 33 miniatures if i didn't get it wrong okay and the game is pretty not bad in fact uh no don't just look at the bag guys i think uh for us for start you don't have many many good miniatures or at least i don't think uh, a lot of the games make good uh, marine miniatures anymore other than you know like i i don't know if warhammer 40k still looks that great i used to think that they looks great but uh you know it's like let me show you some of the uh some of the marine miniatures yeah, it looks pretty awesome right i mean even at this scale it's not totally fantastic but i think it's a lot more fantastic than what uh you know simon and others has been making uh around the years look at that that glittering gun man yeah you know it feels like you know you want to play doom right don't you you know gun down the demon and i was like oh yes go to like oh take, so take him down with this thematic right totally with you no know, how about some chainsaw you know if it's not uh, no so this is to totally rip off from uh, warhammer 40k i guess but but i think you get what i'm trying to say you know it's like uh yes fantastic miniatures right so that's totally the real one i was trying to talk about in this game but uh it's just to sh it's just to show a point that um this is a good deal because um you get plenty of miniatures almost 40 of them uh maybe 35 okay maybe not 40 but that's that's a lot of miniatures and uh you know but that to that is not just to say that i just got it so many miniatures although that that would probably be a plus points um the game is a pretty good game uh you know the the cards are pretty good and everything i guess you can you know like read other people's uh peter's review about this game okay obviously uh i know look at this man it's cool i like you know mixing uh some some sci-fi with uh, arcane horrors you know summoning demons from beyond you know it's it's kind of like you know what happened in Cthulhu if if it happens in the future in the space but what i'm going to talk about mainly in this video sorry for daring so much is actually i'm going to make this good use of this opportunity to actually show you guys what i intend to do with the mole um and i'm not going to advertise any products i mean this is the product but let me just go to tell you what, what exactly am I going to do with this. Okay, so let me just put this one side. Okay, all the miniatures one side so that you know, like, it doesn't distract me any further because, you know, I, I'll be very tempted to talk about miniatures. Beautiful miniatures, by the way. Okay, so, so with all the tiles I put one side uh, and the covers here, so I'm going to, I'm going to show you by doing a little bit of stuff to the cover. Okay, but before I go to any further, uh, I mean, this you can get in generic brands. Uh, I got this from China. But um, there's a lot of other choices you can do. Uh, some of them come with spray cans. Some of them comes with. Uh, I think spray can is probably the best because uh, any other things you will be pretty messy. You probably need a sponge. Okay, so um, I'm going. This sponge comes in uh, two sides, and uh, I got this because this is like dirt cheap. I think it's about ten cents, twenty cents, uh, Singapore dollars. I don't know how much that even convert to uh, no United States dollars, but. It's probably probably less than a penny or anything like that. Gotta use a smooth side. Uh, don't use this side because uh, despite despite whatever solution they say uh, won't damage uh, or you know you enhance the paper, this gonna damage the paper because of the roughness. So use this side, okay? And uh, an important thing is that although you can't read this, um, this is a mold remover. Okay, there are plenty of mold remover out there. There are mold removers for your toilets. Uh, mold remover for uh, I don't know like any other things wood metal and stuff but you need to get uh something that's very specific you need to get paper quality mold remover and this is the one okay so i'm roughly going to translate to you what this is intentionally used for uh you should then you should go look for this it's used to remove uh mold from stamp collections paintings um it does not only just remove mold it prevents mold so it's a it's a two-in-one solution in the sense that 
it not just um, removes it but it, the a spray is meant to protect it against further mowing and the future mowing and um, it's suitable to be used uh, on uh, coins uh, paper notes uh, you know like uh, you know your dollar bills and stuff for collection uh, books uh, colored boxes uh, you know uh, and packing boxes uh, I don't know why you would do that but maybe uh, and uh, receipts oh well yeah I don't know do you keep receipts for that long uh, is to you know prevent and uh, to process more so this is what it says about okay so uh, I obviously have to split this video into two so you won't see what happens immediately but I'm gonna just show you pretty quickly okay so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna try to hold this with one hand and uh, hope this doesn't like blow into my face or something like that so I'm gonna spray a little bit okay onto this uh, this spongy thing okay and I'm gonna be quick about this uh, I just go through where the mold areas are okay I'm going to like just wipe it over okay as you can see uh, I wiped it across all the moldy areas okay uh, of course you think that this works like magic but obviously it wouldn't work like magic okay um, it's a bit wet as you can see so there's like two areas this is the dry area this is the wet area but I'm gonna um, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna free my hand from this uh, and I'm gonna apply all over the, the boxes you know so that you know it's like it's um, evenly throughout you will get you will get the uh, chemical on it okay I mean if you so call it it's it's still chemical okay um and it looks pretty good when when it's uh it's wet though now the mold cannot be seen but what it aims to is you will eat into the mold and destroy the mold so then uh and the next thing you do is of course you put this into the sun okay it's because the sun is uh you know it's your friend it's not the friend of the mold um so you you will like dry this in the sun for a few days if you need to uh but recommendly at least do it for you know, for a good whole sunny afternoon which uh, I hope will be a sunny afternoon in these next few days to come okay in fact um, you know when I bought this the, the person who sold me was pretty good they even provided gloves so that you know I don't have to touch the camera on my own I, I don't know about person to person but um, there are instances that people feel a bit sensitive to the to the what I call it the chemical itself because you know it's after all chemical and uh, you know it could affect people to people you know so make sure you apply some to the you know the paper so you can see fantastically this doesn't like look so bad there is a little bit of mold here i mean but if you so want to you could like spray a little bit on it but unfortunately this is going to like make the box uh looks a bit wet uh while it's wet uh if, when it dries it's going to look a lot better so if you have mold here you will do the same thing with it you will try and like wet it by spraying a little bit on it okay so i'm gonna just leave it like that because I will wait for it to dry to look any better than this. But um, I'm gonna like pause the video kind of uh, while uh, after this this layer of spraying because uh, that's that's practically what I want to do. Okay, I'm gonna pour everything out. I'm gonna do process the whole box obviously. Okay, and um, then I'm gonna like come back to this video again. So this video I will have no way to run away. I will have to cut it. Uh, into at least two chunks you know one is this is the before okay where i wet my whole whole box with this character okay but I'm taking this opportunity to just share with you guys because i realized that this is such a big problem but nobody talks about it and um despite i have mentioned this to some people who manufacture games i mean not there a lot uh i told them that this mold problem is a real problem um to them it doesn't really matter because they are they're not in there to create something that lasts you forever i mean you know they are they are there to just you know as long as they sell it to you on the spot they are pretty much done you know um so it doesn't really matter to them so as you can see this is the, after wetting uh you see there's a coat here so the coat not just eats away the the mold it's supposed to protect the the cardboard from it so Trust me, I have done this uh, for my uh, Mansion of Madness before. You know, my Mansion of Madness is a... Uh, I, I don't own Mansion of Madness uh, second edition, that is all. No, I don't. I have Mansion of Madness first edition. So you can imagine how long that was ago, okay? And shame to say that uh, the first edition never got played because uh, someone needed to be the Dungeon Master. Uh, I don't know what you call that, but you know, that's the right word I use in this context. And um, it becomes difficult for someone to just host it for other people to play. So 
the first version, despite that it's uh, all great and fantastic, never got a chance to be played. Then uh, I have ended up uh, not getting it played until version 2 comes up, the second edition, where there's also a conversion kit for uh, Mansion of Madness, and I got everything. But uh, of course, obviously, you can imagine the tiles are a bit moldy, uh, if that is a, uh, even an understatement to say it. So, coat it all over. In fact, I'm thinking maybe I should like, you know, coat every single game that comes in the future. So, because this liquid not just, uh, you know, remove most, it prevents most from even growing in the first place. So, it could be a very, very good uh, strategy to, you know, just protect it right at the very start. You know, a thin coat over once you get hold of the, this kind of, uh, this type of surfaces. But, like I say, I don't know why. Uh, Fantasy Flight Games is the is the biggest of the problem. Uh, I have much less problem with some of the other games. I don't know why. Maybe because uh, paper quality is different. I don't know. But Fantasy Flight Games, uh, I have not had problem with uh, Arkham Horror, uh, the card game. Uh, no Arkham Horror, I did have the problem. Arkham Horror boxes were black. My boxes were almost white at one point in time thanks to the mold, um, but the card game was okay um, because I touched the card game quite a lot it was one of the games that I played a lot so um, while you are watching me doing this boring thing you know, I think I want more interaction I mean, this is a, this is a topic tell me if it's, if, it's, if it's real for you you know, how you solve the problem with molds uh, how do you go about doing it um, do you have other ingenious solutions? You know, um, so you know that another thing I do to, to help prevent this, I use the dye tomatoes earth uh, sticks. Those sticks are um, supposed to be super absorber of uh, moisture. So after um, you coated it, try to spread them out to uh, in a box. Uh, you know, so what? Unfortunately, I don't have really such a big space to spot it. Uh, I would just kind of like you know place them to place them uh, in one box, and then you know put them uh, out into the sun where you know like the sun get hold of it. Uh, I'm just gonna like put it right beside the window and the windows the, make sure that the windows the rain doesn't get in and um, This box as well, you know, I'm gonna like put it somewhere where you know sun could reach it Okay, so the so that so that's kind of like um, how I did it and uh, this thing um, You know, there'll be some still some here. So What you can do is uh, you know, okay, so I do want to do mention one case one small caveat is that uh, if you apply this to very thin paper, uh, the paper tends to wrinkle a little bit. I don't know why. Maybe it's because of the chemical. But um, since I already have a little bit of this, I might as well just apply this on uh, some of the uh, so-called manuals here. So there are, there are three manuals that come in this game, which is pretty good. Pretty cool. Uh, maybe just a little bit more on this. Um, and there's actually two ways to apply this, uh, this solution, in fact. So in, in severe case, yeah, you don't just spray it on a sponge, you actually spray it right onto the material itself and use a sponge to wipe over, okay? So that's the other way to do it. Uh, those are like in more severe case, but like I said, uh, it, cause, it might cause the paper to wrinkle a little bit. So that, that is a, it's a known caveat. Okay, so uh, sorry for mess. I need to clear this mess in order to play some board game, you know? I want to play board game. No, I need to play this board game. Okay, anyway, that's enough, uh, enough rambling. Thanks for watching. Uh, I will be back. I promise you, and uh, this will be cut together in one video to show you uh, what has happened. Uh, so, uh, I don't really care about this booklet. Right? Yeah, it's full of mold already. This is this is their paper, and uh, it tends to tends to like uh, what about since I took some? Okay, but anyway, thanks for watching. I'll be back, and I uh, will show you what's the result, how the result like. Hi, and so welcome back. So. Um, it's been some time lapse uh, since the last time. Uh, let's take a look at how the situation of the of that um, anti mold has worked. So we uh, we first take a look at the outer box. It looks like the mold was a little bit more um, more resistant than I thought. So we might have to apply in a second layer, I guess. So uh, on the box, some part of it, uh, I think there's still some uh, mold can be seen, but. Other than that, some other areas are uh, these are probably the damage done not due to the mold, but you know, like when tear. Uh, some areas are gone, as you can see. Some areas doesn't have uh, the, the mold is no longer, but we still have a little bit over here. Um, we were just going to go through the tiles first. So there was actually a layers on the tile the previous time, remember? There was like some substance. So uh, it has all been gone from the tile. Looks like uh, it works pretty well for the tile. So most of the tiles, I think, are in 
pretty good shape as you can see here so um, this one may be a little bit more I'm not sure if it's because of the mold or is it the design you know there's some uh, some uh, I think it's mostly the, the design not really so much of the mold but uh, I don't know this this white this like white spot could be more I don't know uh, no harm I'll uh, apply a second layer on it but it does looks like it's okay because under the reflection you can tell yeah so there's two patch you know you can see can you see a patch yeah so there's a little bit of mold here so I'm a little bit uh, I might want to apply a second layer so um, I guess what I need to say is that you need to be a bit patient uh, it it doesn't it doesn't do magic because you know especially when the mold is a bit more um, it has been a while it's a bit more resistant but at least you can tell that uh, what you've done is that you've chosen to uh, use a very good um, or rather I mean the right the right type of uh, of um, anti-mold uh, mold remover so it's a it's a paper base so it doesn't destroy any of this uh, this uh, cardboard or your paper so like for this case this is like totally gone as you can see the light really helps the light shines through it you see a smooth layer there's there's no patches on it so uh, you know that's that kind of like um, it's a good indicator that there is nothing I said maybe here you see you, you do see a little bit here yeah there's a little bit here so um so you might want to like apply another layer a little bit on top of this okay but other than that you know look at all this other surface they are like quite so mainly those are the tiles but uh i have not really been sent uh sanding the tiles very well because i've been like cut them in uh, one direction so take a look at the i've seen the so this is like the side of the box i showed you um we show a little bit on the so the box has wear and tear this one um you got nothing to do the mold but uh other than that i guess if you look at the rest of the box it looks like it's pretty okay from the at least from the box side it seems like uh, most of the sides are gone so that's a uh, pretty good news um, we'll make some progress so uh, again I have to kind of like pour this out so that I can show you the uh, big box of uh, stuff inside so there's plenty of stuff why don't we take a look at the at the Actually, there's no, there isn't a lot of moles. There or there maybe isn't even any moles on the on the menu itself. So there's a little bit of patches here. You can see here. There's a little bit of patches. Yeah, but I didn't like really apply a lot because I told you that you will make the make it a bit of wrinkle. So uh, you know, I just lightly brush through it. So I guess uh, from the for the manual wise, uh, there's no big deal. There's uh, just maybe those li little small one or two patches that I might want to like sprinkle a little on it okay um so you see it's pretty good uh i recall the i did spray into the internal of the box um so when you dry it out it doesn't show anything okay but you do still see that there's some of this that i have not removed i sure have sprinkled a little bit more okay so there's a little bit like uh small uh, brown patches which i guess is a bit hard to remove but if you do remember the front was pretty bad you know it was like uh, layered with uh, all the white small on the corner especially around here uh it's all been gone as you can see because uh, i went pretty thick on this area okay so this is like the maybe i will just do a short video here and stop because um this is like the only applied the um, anti mold once i'm going to do it again which i'm not going to bore you with uh, you know like showing you on screen but i'm going to do it again and uh, i will show a third video uh sometime later again to show you how uh the second uh, application of the anti mold works i mean for more complete sake so i will just stop here again and i uh, hope to see you again soon hi and finally we are back for this uh the third third period for this uh whole video i hope it's gonna be worth it and uh, you really appreciate so i think really from this uh small glance you really can tell that uh, a lot have improved so let me just go through the ages which you can take a look at this the molds are gone okay so you can see the texture is, is smooth have you seen this yeah so under the light you see the texture has been uh, smooth the molds gone um so what all this uh white stuff is probably either there or you know the board game has uh, kind of deteriorated i i would think that it's actually there by default or it's just that the paint has dropped off see so it's pretty good uh, for all the corners as far as i'm concerned so um, you see that the mold has, is uh, actually gone for most of the top lid which was pretty bad in the even in the second video right so there's this damage can't be done not too much can be done right i mean there's wear and tear in uh, board games boxes and uh, 
Well, I guess um, we leave with it. And the bottom boxes, take a look at the bottom boxes. Um, it's all gone. Okay. So we don't we don't have anything here left. So this I would say this is a pretty thorough job. Okay. So um, so as you can see, multiple application does help. It's uh, it's not that you know it's a dead end for anything. So let's just let's just uh, take a look at some of the components which I also have applied to uh, that uh, the coating. So the coating kind of supposed to protect this uh, board game. So um, I guess take a look at the the board game wise. Uh, now there's um, nothing on the layer. Okay, so it's, it's supposed to protect it from further getting any more uh, future moles in the. So this is uh, this is one way to protect your board game. I mean, if you're interested in the link, uh, I can I can probably probably put it below but you know you have to have some sort of uh, access to buy it from china because i got mine from china there's also other places you can get similar type of um, mold remover i guess so but make sure that you get it for for paper okay because uh, otherwise you will ruin your colors and i uh, you know everything will comes out so take a look uh, i would guess that you know for, as far as the towel is concerned it's uh, pretty perfect there's nothing much i can ask for but it's like it's a very very clean uh, you know got rid of mold for everything so the uh, let's take a look whether the you know inside the box. Remember there was a little bit inside the box. So um so in terms of the this I think I didn't do any of the this because I think these are like pretty okay. Uh the cards are fine because they have really been sleeve when I bought them. So uh thanks to the previous uh owner. Yep, they have been sleeved, so there's no big deal with the with the cards. Cards at least on my problem. So I, I apply a bit of coating to the to the book. So the, don't apply too much because uh, uh, the at least the one that I use uh causes wrinkles on the on the paper if you apply too much on it. So uh, you know, yeah. So this is good. And uh, in the internal of the box, so the most of the mold are gone except some of this uh this brown stain which I can't help it. I guess um there's no way to remove them. They could be like already uh you know went right into the boxes itself. What I could do is that um, I'll probably like keep some of those uh, dry sticks uh, on and uh, look at the back of the boxes. So it's pretty good. The more are all gone. Okay. So this is just like to show you that uh, it does work. No, I'm not selling the product. Don't don't ask me for affiliated links. Uh, how I wish there are affiliated links, but you know there isn't affiliated links for me. So so basically, I kind of like bought an old board game uh, and then I got it back to ship. That is uh, basically what I did. And um, so, you know, even if there's a little bit of mold on your board game, that's not the end of the world. It can still be safe. I mean, that's according to me at least. But, um, so this is a pretty old board game. Uh, and it's one that's pretty priced uh, to get hold of uh, because it's um it's all pretty. That's one of the things. Um, but actually, there are still people selling on Amazon uh, at ridiculous price though. But um, I guess you don't want to pay a ridiculous price for uh, a game despite how good it is but it's a very good game you have to take my word for it and that is doom uh no this is not a review of doom okay so anyway i already showed you what happened to the uh to the mold and it's gone so i'm gonna just maybe just uh as a side note show you another thing that uh there's a little bit of mold going on my um ether fields as well so i uh, uh, i might not be able to show you a lot on the on the book itself but uh as you can see there's a little bit here can you see them yep so uh so these are molds that they are that i'm going to treat next the white ones okay so um so the the papers is fond of uh, having this thing so this is like the next challenge but i'm not going to document it and if you take a look at this shit this shit is supposed to be perfectly flat right so i have already applied one round on this okay removing some of the molds okay and it caused a little bit of wrinkles like i said you know look at the wrinkles it's a little bit of wrinkles it's not um not really very bad but uh you know you probably if you want it perfectly flat so then that's not the way to do it but it does cause a little bit of wrinkles and uh, the most is still not gone so i need to apply one more layer on this and that's for interviews and um if you think that the sun is going to do all its job by you know just sunning this for uh you know and the mold will go away uh to be honest this has really been here since the day i got my wave too and um i don't know how long that was ago you can check my video but the sun obviously is not enough to do its job so we will need a little bit more than sun to remove all this and that's where all the, uh, the cleaning mold uh, solution comes in okay so that's all for i have today um so uh, we will proceed with uh, other video contents uh, soon i hope uh, maybe crowdfunding channels or you know what i got I, by the way i skipped what i got in uh 
August because I don't think I really got a lot of stuff coming in August and that was really boring. So um, so that's why it's not here. Um, what I got in September is probably going to be boring as well because unless, oh wait, 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 there's going to be a few Kickstarter coming. So yes, it's not going to be that boring. But anyway, um, I hope to see you soon and I hope this video at least helps somebody uh, you know around. Um, so take care and I hope that in the first place you don't have to deal with more in the first place so this video will probably be useless to you I really hope so but uh, you know we live in a world where more exists and uh, unless we can do something about it they exist and uh, you know yes we can do something about it okay so that is what I'm trying to say here uh, thanks for watching and if you like my video help it, find it helpful uh, you can subscribe and you can like you know that helps the, my channel that's the only thing I ask for uh, no donation no patreon nothing and uh, thanks uh, from a gamer to a gamer, I hope you'll enjoy this video.